All right. Back after a couple days. Uh, I guess it hasn't been that long. Uh, what you yeah, I did all that. Right. Uh, on to uh, disc two. If this were the GameCube version. Need a ride, handsome? Yeah, those uh, silly little discs that used on the GameCube. Uh, so many multi-disc games. Uh, actually, I'm not sure how many there were in total. Be something to may look up sometime. Kind of curious about that. But uh, I know I had, anyways, uh, well, this uh, Tales of Symphonia. Uh, and Killer7. Uh, those, I believe Killer7 was a 2 disc game as well. But yeah, anyways, there was uh, quite a few multi-disc games. Or 2-disc two, two games, anyways. I don't know if there was any that were uh, more than two. That seems like there should be like a guy there that I could snipe or something. It's weird to just come all the way over here just for some items. Oh dear. Alright, okay. I hop over. And then... And then we just hop back. Uh, it still doesn't one shot me. Tales of Symphonia, that was a really good game. Uh, uh oh. Yeah, I haven't, uh, I haven't actually played that many Tales games. Uh, let's see, what should I do with him? Here you go. Yeah, like I got uh, Tales of uh, Symphonia. Uh, remember the day it came out, we had a huge flood here. Uh, 
there's tons of rain and stuff. Uh, I don't know, we went to the, uh, I think it was Future Shop where I got it, but there was, uh, I don't know, there was like six inches of water in the parking lot. We just like, you know, walked through to the store, like up to our ankles in water. Uh, There's a lot of people, uh, well our house here is up kind of, uh, you know, it's up a little bit so we don't get any uh, water. Well not like heavy flooding or anything, but uh, yeah, lots of people, like their whole house is just uh, got filled up with water. But yeah, I remember doing that, uh, you know, us going out to get it on the day it uh, released. Then I think uh, I ended up playing it like non-stop basically for, I don't know, it was like two or three days and then I beat it and yeah, I remember my uh, my mom being like, what, you just got that game and you've beat it already? And, but uh, it's got a fairly good uh, new game plus mode and stuff so I think I went through it a couple times and uh, Like, I've played it a ton, just over and over, uh, and then going through and just trying out different, uh, uh, different stuff, and, you know, doing every last thing in the game. As far as the other Tales games, uh, I don't know, I'm getting deja vu, I think, I don't remember if I have talked about the Tales games before, but uh, anyways, yeah, I, I played uh, Fantasia, of course, the, uh, the uh, infamous uh, fan translation. Uh, I never ended up beating it. I think I several times got partway through and then, uh, you know, got distracted or died and lost a bunch of progress. Uh, uh, I played one of them on the Switch a little while ago. The uh, I think it was Vesperia. Uh, I didn't like it at all. I don't. I don't know. I'll have to play Symphonia again sometime just to see, like, okay. Is Vesperia just worse, or, like, would I not like Symphonia if I played it again now, or, because, I don't know, I just found it, the combat was just really weird, it was, uh, I don't know, like, sluggish and awkward. Aside from that, there was, uh, what, uh, there's a Tales of Symphonia, uh, ta <clears throat> tactical RPG on the, uh, 3DS. Uh, it's Japan only. Uh, it's basically just all the Tales games from all the different games, uh, or all the characters from all the different games kind of joining together. Uh, it's not very good. Uh, Oh, just up here. It's very... Uh, I don't know how to... Uh, 
The combat is very bland and uh, I don't know, it feels like none of the stats matters. Like all your characters they see they seem like they all just kind of do the same amount of damage and stuff. Uh, Uh, like, you basically one-shot every enemy with every character and every spell, and everybody's spells are just different uh, variations on, like, the amount of damage they do and stuff. There's not really any interesting stuff, so it's just, you know, move all your characters, hit all the enemies, uh, just over and over. There's, like, absolutely zero strategy or anything. Uh, and there's no terrain, it's all just like flat, basically like chess boards. Uh, it's really only worth it if you're like a hardcore Tales fan and you just want to see all the characters interacting from all the different games. Uh, then there was uh, the one. I played one on the PS2 a little bit. Uh, I was liking it, but I think, I don't know, I ended up just getting busy with something else, and, uh... Yeah, aside from that, I don't think I've played any of the other Tales games, uh... Yeah. Thought maybe that would kill him. Uh, let's see, what were the... There was Killer7, that was a... Uh, well, that's kind of related to this. It was one of those uh, Capcom... Uh, you know, their four games or whatever they were going to make. Uh, what were the other ones? Beautiful Joe and PN03, I think. Those were like the Capcom 4 or whatever. They were going to be... GameCube exclusive or something, and they all got ported. Ah, uh, yes. Quick time event. Okay. It's really nice. It doesn't, uh... It's not too strict there. Uh, it seems on all of those, A and, uh, Y are the same. Because I hit A and B there. Oops. something okay maybe it's somewhere else oh. yeah killer seven that was really good uh, I think it's out on PC and a bunch of other things now but uh, yeah see there's oh well, I guess this hole is just so that you can come back you come here and then you see those and uh, you can go oh I, I should have gone that other way so that's a it's quite a ways to backtrack Yeah, Killer7, that was... It's a very different game. I guess this is just so I, uh, I think a whole bunch of enemies spawn and I, I can backtrack there and uh, you know, use it as cover. Hey. Oh, he's gonna... 
That was nice. He backtracks up there to uh, start throwing dynamite at me or something. Whoa. I keep thinking that should uh, pierce helmets and stuff. games I had. Uh, let's see. Fantasy Star Online. That was uh, that was one I played a ton of. Uh, oh, I should reload this. I played that uh, you know online and well I played it offline a lot and then uh, eventually online and that kind of ruined it because uh, playing online is just so much faster to get experience and stuff that it was like okay now there's no point in playing offline but uh, yeah that was a lot of fun uh, and I got Fantasy Star Online uh, episode 3 the, the card game that was really good too uh, for some reason it's not I don't know I don't think most people like it as much or something but I thought it was really good Uh, was Wind Waker. Uh, I don't remember getting that like at launch for some reason. Uh, same with Sunshine. Uh, I think yeah, both Wind Waker and Sunshine. That was I don't know. I was at the age where I was like, okay, I'm I'm too old and cool for Nintendo games, so uh, so I didn't end up. Is shooting explosions at me. Uh, so yeah, I didn't get either of them like at launch, and I don't think I even played Sunshine that much. Uh, I didn't even beat it like at the time. Uh, it was just a couple years ago I went through and uh, played through it on uh, the emulator. Uh, they were both pretty good though. Did I have uh, ah melee of course uh, played quite a lot of it. Yeah, I don't play fighting games typically, but uh, this is a huge fan of Melee. Uh, I typically played Marth. Uh, I remember, yeah, Melee was huge at that time. Uh, I think there was a couple times when, you know, we had, uh, I don't know, something at school where we had like most of the day off or whatever. 
Uh, so somebody would bring like a GameCube and we'd all like uh, just play Melee all day. They must have, I saw there was like a hole or like a piece of wood in the ceiling over here. Uh, they must have dropped down or something. Jeez, the shotgun is weak. Okay, no. Where did they come from? Kinda weird. trying to use up some of the uh, sniper ammo. I don't seem to use it too much, so I've got quite a lot. And, uh, okay. What else was there? Uh, oh, Animal Crossing. I think that might have been I don't remember which game I got, like, with my GameCube. Uh, I think it may... It was either Animal Crossing or Fantasy Star Online. Uh, I think it was probably Animal Crossing. Uh, I got it for Christmas. Uh, along with the GameCube, I think. Uh, yeah, I played a lot of Animal Crossing. Uh, I did get the uh, Switch one. Uh, and, yeah, it was... Uh, I think I had talked about it earlier in like the games I played last year, but... Uh, Welcome. Yeah, I think it was, I don't know, not a good game, but it was a fun game. It's got a lot of... Uh, I don't know, there's a lot of kind of poorly done spots in it, uh, you know, a lot of just kind of blatant uh, Skinner box kind of stuff where it's just slow and awkward and stuff. Thank uh, you. There's the Killer 7. I wonder if that is, uh, like, the same model or whatever as, uh, one of the guns in the Clear Seven, like maybe Dan Smith's gun. What are you buying? I just gotta check uh, what the ammo's like. Okay. What are you buying? Is that old? <laughs> there. Thank you. Twelve free bullets. Yeah, I really hope the shotgun gets a, a large power boost or something for its uh, special upgrade. So there 
is uh, Animal Crossing and uh, yeah, Fantasy Star Online. Uh, there was a bunch of other kind of random games, you know, like you know weird sports games and stuff. Uh, I don't think I played that much of them. Uh, oh, there was the Zelda collection disc. Uh, that I, I remember I really wanted it, and uh, I don't. Know, I, I eventually got it, and then I didn't end up playing it hardly at all because, uh, uh, you know, at the time I was younger, and so I found the first two Zeldas too hard, and uh, then Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask. Uh, well, I played them a ton on the N sixty four, and. Uh, also, they they weren't emulated very well. Uh, they've got all kinds of glitches and stuff on the N64 or the GameCube disc. Which I always think that like every time somebody's like, oh, you know, this is just uh, when everyone when anyone's talking about like Dolphin or some other PC emulator, and they're like, oh, you know, it's it's unofficial emulator, so it's not very good. It'll it'll be all kinds of inaccurate and stuff. Official emulators typically are the inaccurate ones. They're, you know, from my understanding, a lot of them they're not they're not making super accurate uh, generic emulators. They're just, uh, you know, they're full of hacks and stuff because they only they only needed that emulator to work with those two games. So there's no reason they would make like a really accurate one. And like they couldn't even do that. It ended up being full of bugs and stuff. And also, like, they didn't have, uh, you know, save states or fast forward or any of the stuff that other emulators have had for, you know, years. That guy nearly gave me a heart attack the first time I played. guys really are living in filth. Uh, they remind me of some of my old roommates. Shotgun must have hit the mine or something and destroyed it. I would have thought that would set it off though.
let's see. Uh, what else was there? A Sonic Adventure 2 battle. And that's one I... I don't know. It's got a really bad reputation now. Anytime you hear anyone talking about it, it's just that it's like horrible and uh, it was never good and everything. But uh, I don't know. I really enjoyed it at the time. Like I played through you know every path, every character, did the Chow stuff. Uh, And then, I don't know, a couple of years ago I played through Sonic Adventure on the PC and it, it was horrible. Uh, it was just so janky and, you know, you, you know, glitch out and fly through the world and it didn't even feel like you were platforming. It felt like you were just kind of like, I don't know, zipping along. Uh, I don't know, like there, there wasn't even like collisions and stuff. It felt like some, you know, Five minute Unity project or something. But, uh, I don't know. I would like to play th play a little bit of Sonic Adventure 2 just to kind of see, see if I'm remembering it correctly. Okay, what was, was down there? Okay. Alright, there was just, uh, it was just treasure down there. I think uh, this cutscene gets removed in several versions because there's the whole like uh, rapey implications or the you know them tossing her on the ground and her being like oh no. Was there uh, a Twilight Princess? That was that was bland. That was just uh, it was just Zelda. Like it was like the if you took like the average of all Zeldas and just kind of you know mushed them all together. I think that's you know it was just Zelda. There was nothing uh, terribly interesting about it. Uh, you know it felt just really. Okay, we're gonna make a Zelda game. Let's just make Zelda. And, I don't know. It wasn't bad, but I just played through it, beat it, and then it was like, oh, okay. That was Zelda. And then uh, I've never had the interest in playing it again. Or, uh... yeah, okay, I can get the vest uh, soon. What are you buying? Alright, uh, again, I'm just gonna break here, uh, do this, and then uh, keep going. Alright, uh, I did that. That took quite a bit longer than the other ones. Uh, typically I've been using the TMP during that, but I found it was just, uh, it's too jittery at the long ranges in that one. Uh, I, I kept missing or hitting their bodies, which gives you less points than hitting their heads. Uh, I hit Ashley several times as well, so I ended up, uh, having to switch to the rifle, uh, which 
they don't really give you enough time to actually hit everything with the rifle with the rifle uh so you really have to make sure you hit every time and you hit the head every time and you hit all the salazar bonus things uh, i guess i should get this i mean i really want to get the other upgrades but uh <laughs> thank you what do you I guess i should get that it's so I could get something here, though. This is... Yeah, I can't get anything else. What are you selling? All right. Uh... So that took me. That took a long time to get all the bottle caps there. They survive that? Okay. There must be something funny going on with their hit collision hit detection when they're behind there. Flail gives them a bit more range. Uh, the guys with the axes or who are just swiping at you or whatever, uh, you can just back up to avoid them, but uh, not with those guys. So anyways, I brought up the uh, list of the other, uh, all the GameCube games that uh, I had or played. Uh, the other ones I missed, uh, there was Crazy Taxi. That was quite fun. I played a lot of it. Uh, played it a little bit in the arcade too, but not uh, not much. Uh, one of the bowling alleys near here had it. Uh, I just couldn't get used to the difference between using the wheel and the and stuff versus using the GameCube controller. See, this is another one of those really cool, kind of like memorable moments. I just love how they set up all these little 
things in the game where you know it's still the same gameplay. It's not like you're suddenly, you know, you know, doing puzzle gameplay or racing or whatever. It's the same core mechanics and stuff, but they set up all these cool little, uh, I don't know, scenes where you I don't know, do different stuff. Will I get in there? Okay, well there are silly puzzles, but. Uh, They're not too hard anyways. I wonder if all these puzzles they scattered around were just to keep out the uh all like the brain dead uh zombie guys. Like, if they put, like, simple logic puzzles everywhere, uh, they won't be able to, uh, get places. Oh, come on. I thought that was, like, he's incapacitated. guys who are pretty terrifying first time through. Oh. That's annoying. Oh. Crap. Okay. Uh, I got turned around. That's what I don't like about those, you know, take control, you know, those spots where it takes control from you. Uh, uh, it, it disorients you. I was heading the right way and then it did the, uh, the little quick time event and then I got turned around. That was a cool spot too. It's you know you're in the freezer full of like frozen enemies, and then it you know gives you the option to turn off the freezer. So it's like okay, you know what's gonna happen. Where is it? Okay, here we go.
Yeah, I think if you have like the, uh, uh, what is it? There's the, uh, I don't know, one of the magnums or something. You can just shoot them and they'll they'll die. Like the splash damage bursts the uh, parasites or whatever. That's the freezer, I guess. I can see downstairs. Okay. Keep checking that I got everything. Uh, I think I just gotta head on here. So, uh, let's see, another game I had on the uh, GameCube was uh, uh, DDR Mario Mix. Yeah, that was one I remember. Uh, I wanted to play DDR, because uh, I, I liked playing it at the uh, theater, but I didn't have a PlayStation, so, uh, you know, I never, ha I never ended up getting it. Uh, I did get a PS2 later, but that was way, way after the GameCube uh, was... I don't know, near like the very end of the PS2 life cycle. Uh, actually, I think it was, you know, it was after the PS3 was out. Uh, so yeah, Mario Mix was the first uh, like home DDR I got. Uh, I didn't end up, you know, I played Mario Mix quite a bit, but uh, it was really easy. Like I'm not very good, but I was able to quickly do uh, like the highest difficulty levels in it. Which was kind of disappointing, you know, it's typical Nintendo making everything super easy and stuff. But yeah, it was uh, somewhat fun anyways. Uh, That'll make her shut up anyways.
uh, then I've got uh, Fire Emblem Path of Radiance. Uh, yeah, I played the Game Boy Advance Fire Emblem uh, a fair bit. Uh, and then ended up getting the GameCube one. Uh, I think I've kind of mentioned before how I feel about Fire Emblem. It's like, you know, I. I don't like the permadeath, but if you turn the permadeath off, then it kind of breaks the game. So, because there, I don't, it just becomes too easy. Uh, but if you have it on, then it becomes uh, kind of tedious, and you spend all your time just marching forward one square at a time, and just playing super overly cautious. So it's I don't know. I I think they should work on fixing that somehow. like the game's not difficult but if you make like the tiniest mess up then you have a huge penalty so yeah I don't really but I the game was fun anyways uh, next there was uh, Mario Kart Double Dash uh, yeah I've always gotten well I've you know, gotten a fair few of the Mario Kart games I had the SNES one and then the uh, N64 one Double Dash, it was fun too. Uh, I think the N64 one is still my favorite. Uh, I think they really went all out with the three dimensionality of the tracks because they were really trying to show off the, uh, you know, it's in 3D now. So, especially like the uh, multi or the, the battle tracks and stuff, they were really uh, three dimensional, which I like. Uh, but yeah, Double Dash, it was good anyways. Uh, the whole uh, playing it uh, two player, two people on one car though was kind of boring. That was, uh, that was really like, you know, little brother mode where, you know, one person really just sits there and chooses when to fire. I guess that could be used for uh, slowing down the regenerator, because so I think fire really, uh, it doesn't kill him or anything, but it really uh, slows him down. He gets all kind of messed up, and falls over, and it takes him a little while to recover. It's a good thing I didn't slash it with the knife. Uh, I didn't think it was a real, like I thought it was just for decoration. One of these has something in it. No. Browser pops up here or Ada. Man, those are some tough crows. They survive like uh, I would have thought even a single bullet would be enough to kill them. Welcome. 
got a selection of what are you selling? Right. Hopefully I can uh, buy some kind of upgrade now. Is that all? <laughs> ah. <laughs> oh yeah, I guess uh, eight came out the other day. Uh, what are you buying? Seems like it's pretty good. I'm probably gonna just wait until it's uh, cheaper. Uh, I've got other games to play, anyways. was there uh, a super monkey ball that was a really good game uh, yeah I played that a lot it was a lot of fun uh, here there are there are actually a couple kind of indie monkey ball games now there's a what roll rolled out and I don't know, like Paperball or something. Uh, I have, I've got both of them. I haven't played either of them yet, though. Uh, but they look pretty good. Uh, apparently, they, I think they were porting one of the Monkey Ball games to the Switch, but it turns out it ended up being like the bad one, I guess. Like there was a couple of them, and then uh, they were like, "Yay, Monkey Ball news!" and everybody was hyped. And then they're like, "Yeah, we're reporting the one no one likes." And then everyone's like, "Oh, okay." Yeah, I thought Ada was supposed to pop up here. I guess uh, she has a section here in the Ada separate ways or whatever. I guess that's what it is. Uh... I guess I just go back to Ashley now. I'll save first. The only other GameCube game I haven't mentioned that I had was Simpsons Hit and Run. Uh, that was really good. That's probably my favorite. Uh, I think that's just like the best uh, licensed video game. Just the sheer amount of uh, fan service the game has, like it's it's just non-stop Simpsons references. You go, you look anywhere, and it's something from the, the show. Like that's exactly how I think they should do uh, like cross-media things. Like just you know, I mentioned that before when I was talking about movies, but you know, just just pack it with fan service. Uh, you know, that's something you have control of. Like you can. You can easily just pack something full of fan service, uh, and then you know, uh, regardless of whether you do that, you know, it's kind of like a 50/50 as to whether it's going to be a good game or not, or a good movie or whatever. But like, you can guarantee that it's got lots of fan service in it, and that'll make it like, you know, worthwhile even if it's not like the best game. 
it's like the Simpsons game, it's, you know, it's a mediocre GTA clone, uh, you know, on its own, if it wasn't the, if it didn't have all the Simpsons fan service in it, it would be, you know, it's a 6 out of 10, it's, it'd be just okay, you know, you've got the GameCube, uh, you can't play GTA, because it's only out on, like, the other consoles, uh, but, you know, so here's this kind of, like, mediocre GTA clone that you can play, it'd be okay, but... Just the degree that they packed it full of uh, Simpsons stuff, that alone just makes it like, okay, now it's actually, you know, it's a good enough GTA clone that it's, uh, you know, it doesn't get in the way of the, you know, experiencing the Simpsons world, but, uh, yeah, being able to just go around and, uh, you know, see all the Simpsons stuff, see all the cars from the Simpsons, all the areas, all the characters, uh, and then all like the cards and whatever that they added in, uh, the little references and stuff. I don't know, it was all just, it was so much. Uh, really gotta start, I don't know, using some stuff. I don't think I ever ended up actually beating it though. Uh, I remember some of the uh, the races and stuff were not like the most well balanced. Uh, a lot of them were extremely difficult. Uh, fortunately, they did have a thing where if you if you failed a race uh, or you know a mission or whatever so many times, uh, it would let you just skip it and move on to the next mission. Uh, so there were several that I didn't end up beating, uh, but unfortunately the the last race in the game uh, was extremely difficult, and you can't just skip it. So yeah, that's how far I got. Yeah, I did have a ton of fun just running around uh, Springfield. Uh, and there was a lot of cheats built in too that you could get, like where you could just fly or uh, go super fast or whatever.
Looks like this. Are you out of your mind? This is, I don't know, it's kind of odd. They're setting this up like it's going to be some, like, really difficult, you know, ah, uh, run away, you can't beat them thing. Uh, but it's just another one of these guys, which you should be pretty used to by now. I guess maybe because you got Ashley with you, you might freak out. Be like, oh no, Ashley's going to die or something. But do that, it's pretty easy. You can make Ashley hide. There's gonna be another one of them though. Yeah. Sounded like it was coming from over there. But, uh... Ah, there he is. I did end up uh, watching the Sonic movie the other day. Uh, yeah, it was pretty good. Like, uh, I think they could have stuck a bit closer to the source stuff, but at least it wasn't. Uh, I don't know. They didn't go too far from it. At least Sonic looked like Sonic in the end. Uh, and I like how it did. Uh, you know, spoilers. It did kind of end with. Uh, Dr. Robotnik, you know, really becoming Dr. Robotnik. Uh, so hopefully if there is a sequel, I don't know if they are planning one, but uh, if there is a sequel, it'll be even more Sonic-ish. Uh, they showed Tails, uh, so hopefully he'll be very... Uh, I don't know, it'll all be really Sonic-ish. <laughs> yeah, that's... I don't know, like, what I mentioned there with this original design, it's like, okay, why would you do that? Like, just... Just take his model from the game, and then, you know, up it or whatever, but, uh... You know, why go and make him look like a creepy furry or something?
Oh, I'm uh, getting kind of low on ammo, actually. sure if I had saved Ashley or not. Now, I don't remember if this part is, uh, if they spawn infinitely here or not. Uh, here's the, uh, the good foreshadowing. Uh, you know, the bursted out dog cages or whatever. Hmm. Okay, this room was emptier than I thought. sure exactly what the point of that is. I guess it's just for, I don't know, kind of story feel or whatever, but uh, you know, it's not like you're defending Ashley there or anything. Oh, 
Oh. Ah, uh, okay. I'm probably done with uh, getting new stuff. Yeah, I don't think I'm finding the, uh, the other parts of those. I must have missed them. Uh, I guess I'll just sell them now then. Is that all, stranger? Is that all? Hopefully, I missed them. Is that all? Not gonna regret this. Is that all, stranger? Is that all, stranger? Is that all, stranger? Is that all? Thank you. Uh, I'll, uh, <laughs> thank you. Okay. I can still get the other part of that, though, I think. What are you buying? Get. I know that gets homing when you uh, fully upgrade it, which ends up being kind of uh, not always the best thing. Sometimes they veer off and hit the guy you don't want them to hit. Is that all? <laughs> Thank you. Is that all? <laughs> Thank you. Is that all? <laughs> Thank you. Come back any time. All right. Uh, guess that's going to be it for today. Uh, hopefully, next time, I think I'll be able to do the rest of it.